Good morning my friends, welcome back to my channel. I am trying something new. I've played with my lighting configuration and I think it's better in terms of shadow. Um, hopefully it's not too dark because I've actually removed a light. Uh, let's see how it goes anyway. Let me know what you think in the comments. So today is Trash Craft Tuesday. So what trash are we playing with today? Well you might take a guess at what's lying on my desk is these so in case you didn't recognize what they were because they were kind of just still folded up these are the you know the paper party hats these came out of christmas crackers and these ones actually were from a midwinter christmas family event that i went to this year uh, but i do have some floating around somewhere from last christmas you know you pull the cracker some people might put a hat on for five minutes uh, lots will just chuck them to the side like these are all folded pristine never been worn uh, and it's beautiful tissue paper so if you don't have paper hats at the ready uh, you can use whatever tissue you like it could be wrapping tissue you know pattern tissue any tissue will work you'll just have to cut it to size rather than have these pre-made strips we will be cutting it in half though so not completely pre-made I also have here a bunch of little tags that are from Timeless Christmas and that is the Christmas kits from Rachel and Bella Crafts from last year. So I had all these tags printed off so I've backed them with papers from the same kit ready to go because we're going to be making tag toppers for our wee tags. You can use whatever size tags. Uh, on my prototypes I used a larger tag because I was playing around with ideas and I've come up with five different ways to create a tag topper using our paper hats. Five ways and I'm going to start with the easiest and work to not the hardest but the more involved I guess would be one way to put it. So what colour do we want to go with? I think red would go with every single one. Um rather than the green because the green's kind of a grassy green so I think I'm going to go red if we need to break into these two we will but I'm going to take my paper hat here refold it because that just makes life a bit easier like so so just folding it back up the way it came and I'm going to cut down across the middle so not vertically, not this way, but this way. So we're going to create two smaller strips and just eyeballing across the middle. So you end up with two pieces. And from here, we are going to find the seam where it's glued together. And we're just going to chop that out. And on the other side, there's that one, and I'm just throwing that bit away. And this one, I'm folding back the overlap uh, because it's loose, so I get just a bit more length out of it. Right, so we've now created two strips which don't all fit under the camera but two quite long strips and out of this we should be able to make our five toppers easily probably more than enough for five right first one first we're going to take our one with the the peaks so one is straight on both sides and one has the peaks from the hat so we're going to take one of those peaks and just snip it where the dip is. And choose a tag out. I don't think I want this one because it's going to cover too much of the stocking. So how about this one? This one will look good. 
So I'm basically going to fold over try and get it straight kind of so we're going to have a peak on the front just a little peak down like that so we can go ahead and trim off the excess at the sides so depending on the size of your tag as to how far across it goes these are small tags in fact I probably should measure them for you just so you've got they're two inches wide by four inches high so you can kind of see or tell what I'm doing now I haven't got that completely centered I'm not worried it's just you know a little bit of quirkiness right and I also want to trim this back bit down a little bit I don't want quite so much taking up writing space so we'll just trim that down so very very simple you could use glue stick I prefer tacky glue because I just find it's a little bit less messy and easier to handle all the moving bits so I'm just tucking that up and I'm going to glue one side press that down and then I'm going to glue the other side I'm putting glue on the ed on the corners where the tag shape is even though I am actually going to trim off those corners so just letting my scissors run along the edge of the paper underneath the tag base oops and I didn't quite center it properly it's all good and we've got just this fun very simple element and I just got a little bit at the peak there that needs a little extra glue is it coming out there we go finally got the glue out whoops it is very thin you know it's only tissue paper so be gentle because I was a little bit rough there so that's that one now you can do the same but in reverse so on this my prototype I did the peak at the top and then on the bottom I did it in reverse so that peaks on the back so if you want to add an extra element I felt this tag really could carry it uh, and it gave it nice balance if I did this on this tag then I think we'd lose too much real estate it's a smaller tag you know quite quite a size difference but there is that option if you want that extra bit at the bottom or you could even just do take your straight strip and just do a straight piece front and back you don't need to have the peak but if you wanted to balance out with a border you could do that so that's number one so just starting out really simple really easy okay number two let's choose out a tag for number two um, again I want space at the top um, I think any of these would be okay we'd lose the star there but we'd still have the baubles uh, so yeah I think any of these would be okay we might do this one though so again we want the peak one in fact I think I've only got one specific project for the straight um, when I think about it but that wasn't by design it's just how I was playing so this one we're going to take two of the peaks I don't know if we need two but we're going to start with two and we're just going to kind of gather it up at the bottom just scrunch it up backwards and forwards flatten it out sort of arrange it that pleases you need to kind of gather in the bottom bits and here you can glue it on or you can do what I'm going to do and staple it just depends what your preference is and the hardest bit is 
getting everything in this right place while you put the stapler on and I didn't quite staple that in the right place so I'm going to go in and add a second staple you could add three however many staples you like and then I like to just come in with a bit of glue under the edges and glue those down as well just to kind of make it conform to where I want it to be and a bit of extra security that it's not going to go anywhere for those bits that you might have missed with a staple and then you can fit further just manipulate it depending how you want it to sit and because it's tissue even though we've got quite a few layers it's still really thin if you don't like staples just just glue it down or double-sided tape or whatever you like so again very simple very quick to achieve this is my prototype here you can see that I was playing with a purple hat and I just used one staple there and I glued down the side bits. Fun, 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 fun. Just a fun tag, something a little bit different. Okay, that's number two. Number three, slightly more involved. So this is the third one using this. Um, how much do we want? We probably only need two. I'm going to go two and a half. Um, just because I, I didn't actually measure when I was making my prototypes. I just kind of was playing around. Seeing how many ideas I could come up with. So this one, a little bit more involved. We're going to be folding it backwards and forwards. Oops. If I can control my paper. Leaving an overlap, so you don't want it concertinaed on top of each other. You want to have it pleated, I guess is the term. Pleated or ruffled. And I'm going completely not straight here. Let's try that again. You want to try and keep the base a little bit straighter. Won't matter too much, but you don't want to kind of like create yourself a little runway. So just pleating backwards and forwards. I'm not worried too much about whether it's getting crinkly. I think that just adds to the look. And I might have too much there because I'm only working on a small tag. So, whoops, I let it go. Preferably don't let it go because it's all going to spring out on you. So definitely a little bit more fiddly. Just having to refold there because I let it all spring out on me. Okay, so I and I didn't refold it properly. So from here, I'm going to fold up the bottom just a little bit. To kind of give it a base. So I'm going to glue that where I folded it up. I'm going to put some glue underneath that and glue it in place. Hopefully I'm making sense here. So flattening that out. So you've got this little bit here. Did I choose a tag? I don't think I chose a tag, did I? I think we'll go with Mr. Deer here. Mr. or Mrs. And that's actually a really good length for that size tag. So then we're just going to put glue on this side now. I might trim off this little outlier bit. Um... And we're just going to glue it on. Oops. Let's push it up a little bit. Can I get in there? I didn't actually put any glue on it, so I should be able to. Just to kind of even up both sides. And there we go, a relatively simple idea for a tag topper without too much effort. 
little bit more effort but doable and it doesn't matter how much you fudge it you'll it will still look cute it's like the deer's wearing a crown okay and my prototype here is that one and again just really quite flat now on this one I do have some bits popping up so if that bothers you you can just go in there with a bit of glue and secure it down just depends what you what you like it doesn't really matter but if you're worried about it tearing then perhaps a little bit of glue is a good solution so that's number three we're rocking through this aren't we okay number four I haven't actually got a prototype for um, and we are going to use the straight strip so we don't need a huge amount I'm going to take maybe three sections that probably is too much for what I'm about to do and we're just going to pinch it in the middle along the length my fingers are a bit cold so I am struggling with making them do what I want so as much or as little as you like and it's kind of makes a little bow type arrangement now you could further embellish any of these you could add um, a little gem in the center you could tie a little bit of thread around this bow to make it really look like a bow um, so you certainly could add more things to these I'm just thinking should I add a little bit of thread to this just for fun because my prototype or my experiment I don't even know where it's gone now ah oh, here it is that's as far as I got I was like oh yeah okay that's an idea I don't need to do any more with that because I know where it's going so it never got kind of finalized let's do a little bit of thread round um, cotton might cut the tissue have I got some embroidery thread embroidery threads just a little bit softer um, so not potentially as damaging as some cotton thread what color would work I'm very limited on the colors I've got here um, could go green let's go green we don't need a lot tie it into a wee knot you could tie a bow on top of the bow with your thread I must say the one thing I'm not liking about having my other light off is that I feel like I'm working in the dark and that's probably not a great thing um, so I might resort to having my light back on I just thought it looking in the camera it seemed to make a difference on the the shadows but if I feel like I'm working in the dark that's not exactly a good compromise is it I don't feel so anyway okay so we've just we probably want to trim that a little bit more make it shorter than the length of our bow sides of our bow And you could tease that out a little bit if you wanted to. I'm just going to grab a pin. This is my big tub of pins that I, can you see, see how big that is? Big tub of pins I picked up, oh, and lint, um, for $4 in an op shop. I was like, and there was one paper clip in there. Who knows if there's more paper clips hiding. Um, but I thought that was a pretty good deal because I'm always hunting around for pins. So you can just like tease out the threads of your embroidery cotton if you're using embroidery thread. Just to give it a little bit more interest without ripping your tissue. Be very careful if you're doing this. 
be very easy just to put it into the tissue and tear the tissue. Probably wouldn't be the end of the world. Right, just teased it out a little bit. And the container came with the pins for four dollars and it's got a nice secure lid so they're not going to fall out if I knock it over or something. Right, tag. We need a tag. What tag do we want to put it on? Perhaps this one. Oh yeah, that's super sweet. So this particular one is a little more bulky. But still, tissue paper it will flatten out a lot. And just, just smush it down. Like, just make it flatter. And... In doing so, you can kind of arrange it how you want it. So I'm really pushing that down quite hard. So the bulkiest bit's in the middle, of course. We might put a little glue on that little bit down the bottom. Just thinking about putting it in pockets and things so it doesn't get caught up. So there's a cute little bow topper for a tag. And you can make it bigger for a bigger tag, or you could put it somewhere else. And these aren't just tag topper ideas. You could use this on any, you could use it on a journal card, or on the edge of a page, or, you know, wherever you like. So that's number four. This could be a shortish video, because we are getting through these. Now, the last one that I have is a little bit more involved, and we need... Uh, now, from memory, 8 inches. We're using the, the plain strip. It's straight-ish. Straight it's not completely straight, but it doesn't matter. 8 inches is what we want. Just give or take, like it doesn't have to be precise. So I'm going about there. So I still have this strip of the straight and this of the peaks. So you can see you can get a lot of bits and pieces out of a single hat. So if you've got some scraps of tissue paper lying around, perfect. You don't need a whole heap. So this one, we're going to fold it back up along its lines, just because it's a little bit easier to kind of manage at this point. And we're going to... Now this takes me back to primary school days when we used to do, make Christmas decorations and stuff. We're going to make cuts thin cuts and leaving about half an inch on the bottom so definitely don't cut all the way to the bottom or you'll just be cutting it into thin strips completely and it will fall apart so we're just making thin little strips like so all the way across Now we're going to open it back out and in places you'll have some thicker bits where it was folded that aren't cut. So just go back through and decide whether there's any that you want to further cut down like this one here. It's just a little bit wide so we're going to cut that in half down the fold line and this other one, yeah we might cut that one as well. And that one is okay. Right, so be very, very gentle because it is very prone to tearing. You will need now a pencil. And it's a little bit tricky to get started. So we're working with that bottom half-ish inch here that we didn't cut. And you want to start wrapping that around your pencil. But it's just a little bit tricky to get that first bit started because it wants to just pull around. Just take it quietly and roll it onto your pencil. Just putting up any bits that want to fold down and get stuck. Just push them back up as you go around. Oops, we're starting to go uphill. Let's bring it back down. And if it starts to get gappy, just smush it down. It's all good. Crease it into where you want it to go. Okay. 
so at the end grab a bit of glue again whatever glue you like but i like tacky glue because you if you let this go it's all just going to spring off and you'll have to redo it so tacky glue allows me to hold it and glue it without it coming apart on me so we've got this cute little isn't that a cute pencil topper like just as it is I think that's so cute but we're not stopping there because this is a tag topper not a pencil topper although you could very well leave it as a pencil topper if you chose so we're just gently going to pull it off the end of the pencil now depending how tightly you wound it around there how easy that might be and we're going to flatten down this bit that was around the pencil so flatten it out and we're going to put some glue on that section And then we're going to fold it up onto our cut pieces. Okay, and you're thinking, what on earth is she doing? That seems so weird. Bear with me. And we're going to just tease out the top bit and make it kind of arrange how we want it. Kind of into, I don't know what you'd call it, a flower, a starburst, a pom-pom, a flat pom-pom. Whatever you like, whatever you want to call it, it's just a fun piece. Isn't that fun? I think it's fun. So just gently don't pull because you'll pull the little bits off. Uh, but just ease them around, kind of make them do what you want to. Remember, it doesn't need to be perfect. Just funky, wonky, whatever. Okay, this one, I actually have a tag from the journal I'm working on for Rachel Bella Crafts with Nostalgic Noel, and I want to put this on the top of this tag. So I'm just going to choose which way, and this bit that we folded down is going to be the bit that we glue onto the tag. So it's going to give it a nice, secure hold. Let's try and get it in the middle of the tag, about there. Make sure I get it all on, all that bit. So a little bit more fiddly, definitely takes a little bit more time, but I think it's super cute. So this is going to go in this pocket here. It's a book page pocket, and. It's still quite flat and it will flatten out even more. So I'm just going to turn the page here and I'm going to give it a rub just to flatten it out even more. And so here you could put something and I think that would be quite nice to put something in the middle. Um, because this, even though this is flat at the moment, we can still add something dimensional because it's removable. So it doesn't necessarily need to interfere with writing. And I would suggest removing it when we're writing, you know, on this page. I would suggest removing it even if you're using a writing board, just so that it doesn't damage the, the tissue. Um, I feel like I want to put something in the middle. What have I got? Have I got a sticker? Oops, sorry, just hit the table there. Um, I don't know if I've got anything Christmassy as a thing. A Christmas sticker. Um, let's have a quick wee look. This is a little one that was just floating around in my sticker bag. That would look cute. It's actually lost its sticky back. So let's use our alcohol glue. This is my bottle that's almost out. I bought the fabric glue after this because I couldn't get this bottle again. They were out of it. Um, so I've just been preserving what's left in this bottle. And it's been a while since I've used it, so I'm just peeling off the dried glue. Um, I think this would be the best glue for this. For this little cabochon that's lost its sticky back and perhaps I'll do it off the journal in case I make a mess don't want to end up gluing our journal pages together 
it would not be fun just got to wait for the glue to come down like I said it's almost empty it's blowing air so that tells me that nozzles not blocked right let's just pop I could have used something a bit bigger that just happened to be the first thing I saw when I was delving in my sticker bag and thought well let's use that isn't that cute I just think that's so adorable and fun like quite different I feel just something a little different and it's fun to find little different things and using trash you know using something we would normally just discard at the end of the party christmas day whatever whenever you're using paper hats could be a birthday child's birthday just fun so that glue is wet but i'm just going to sit it in the pocket because that won't affect the pocket but i will not close the journal because again i don't want to glue my pages together so that's idea number five and this is my prototype here for that so just just like just encourages you to play with it really it's like deep, 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 deep. i'm such a big kid sometimes i really am shaker pockets that i made last week i've just been they've been sitting around my desk and i just grab one while i'm watching tv and i just turn it around shake it and rub my fingers over it and just oh, big kid totally big kid okay how are we going on time we are really we've got heaps of time i'm wondering can we come up with any more ideas i was really at a stretch coming up with five ideas i thought i wasn't going to make it but i did um but to come up with any more now i'm like oh dear oh dear can i can i come up with more ideas um so we've got the bow we've got this one i'm just kind of looking at what i've done and seeing whether i can springboard any more ideas from these that one and that one and then our pom-pom one um so i've got the strip with the peaks mm. i don't know now we're entering the the unknown territory And conscious that time's ticking and you're like watching me waiting for me to do something and I'm like ah <laughs> why do I do this to myself because uh, it's fun okay I'm just wondering can we can we just kind of loosely roll this in our fingers what's it going to look like is it going to look silly is it going to look like something it at the bottom oh well, that's kind of fun kind of reminds me of um the wrapping around a bouquet of flowers or something like if you had a little a little faux flower with a wire that you could poke down inside that that might be super cute but would it work as a tag topper mm, it's not not floating my boat i'll have to say that I think with a flower in it it would be really cute but more more as like a decoration like if you put it there and you had a flower coming out the top that would be quite cute but not as a tag topper so no and that's what i'm focusing on today is tag toppers so let's see i mean that idea may be still one you want to play with, even though it's not a, a tag topper. Um, let's see if we fold this up. This tissue is um, shiny on one side and matte on the other, in a slightly different shade of red on each side, which is interesting. Um, what if we fold that? Interesting too that the peaks I've found on these hats don't actually line up. They're not symmetrical.
but I'm just playing with those peaks and seeing if we can do something well that's something isn't it just kind of folded back on itself layered angle I mean that's it's got potential I don't know whether I like it or not can we get that point in the middle instead of this fold up along the bottom is more or less just giving reinforcing so let's try folding the peaks into the middle this time And I guess the layers give it some, I don't want it on that tag because it's going to take too much away from the stocking. The, the layers give it strength rather than just using a single layer. Okay, well that's another way isn't it? So it's basically the opposite to this. Instead of the point going down, we've got the point going up. Um, but the layers giving it some stability. I think I do want to use glue stick on this though, just to glue those layers together a little bit. Just being very careful. So it's going to give it that stability and this bit here. I mean, I could cut that off, but I am choosing just to fold it over. It's going to further strengthen that because it's going to be at the top of the tag. And I want that peak to basically be in the middle. So I'm kind of using my mat to hopefully help me line up I think I'll go from the bottom of the snipped off corners and I'll use tacky glue back to the tacky glue so I'm going to cover this top section because it's easier to line it up Or is that middle? No, it's not the middle. My goodness. Oh, well, we, we're going to leave it because I think it will just tear. That glue's already grabbed. So I'm going to snip it up there and there. So you might want to pay more attention to the straightness or the centering of it. Or like me, just go off kilter and just embrace the off kilter. Now, is it going to look funny when I cut these angles? What's it going to look like? Let's do a little visual. It's going to be like, actually, that is cool. Can you see what it looked like? To me, it had a very... Um, specific appearance that it straight away is like yes that works that's fun so I've just followed along the lines of the cut off corners let's get rid of the scraps can you see what it looks like I hope you can I just feel like I need to add something to it um, I'm not sure actually what I've got that I can use um would a little bit of cheese no it's not really the right if i had a little pom-pom or something a little white bit to add on the top and it looks like a santa hat or an elf hat i guess depending what color you're using um i've got an idea i'm just going to pause the camera and i'm going to disappear try and find something and be right back 
Now while I had the camera paused I also did turn my light back on and I feel happier. I feel like I can actually see. <laughs> so I do apologize if there's extra shadows. So I've got a cotton wool ball here and I thought I can probably do something with this to make this more like a Santa hat. So I'm just going to take just a tiny little bit like so just a small small bit and kind of just gonna try and work it into a flat round shape don't want it super heavy because this is only tissue paper so you might want to reinforce this with some other type of paper in between might be a good option is that too big no, I think it's absolutely wonderful. So I'm going to put a bit of glue on the top here. Just pop it on. And it adds another bit of fun textural element. Now I'm also going to peel off a bit more. It's probably a bit much. So out of one cotton ball, you could get quite a lot of these tags. I've never used a cotton wool ball in my um, junk journaling before. It's quite fun. And then we can do a fun little trim along the bottom as well. Like so. Oh my gosh, how super cute is that? I'm glad I kept playing. So while we had a moment there where I wasn't doing a lot and I was a bit like I don't know what I'm doing um we've come up with something that I actually adore and I'm just leaving those end bits kind of teased out you could pinch them and, and make them a bit more rounded but I kind of it's kind of moustache-ish really with those um teased out ends but you could like you know tidy them up if you like or you could just trim them off as well oh my gosh how super cute is that don't you just love that <laughs> it's adorable so what are we up to we're up to six ways i guess we need to bring this big tag down so we can just kind of see all of them together i was looking for my glue lid um, it's attached. I know this. I know it's attached. And yet I was looking around my desk thinking, where's the glue lid gone? I've lost my glue lid. Oh my gosh, it must be a Monday morning. Right, I also have another idea for this, just to dress it up a little bit more. Um, while I was off camera, I was like, oh, what if I did that? So let's do that. But I'm just going to slide a bit of paper in, because preferably you would do this before attaching it to the tag but I didn't think of it. So I'm just going to slide a bit of paper under there so we're not going to get anything on our tag itself. So then I'll switch it around. Oh, where have my pens gone? That might be a good thing to find. Oh, here they are. I knew I saw them in my travels this morning. It was like, oh, where did I put them after I had them out? And I was shifting things around looking for something else. So this is a acrylic metallic marker. It has been leaking, so I'm going to try not to get paint all over my fingers. And it's a cheap one from Panda Mart. I'm just going to like put a bit of gold highlight since we've got that gold gem in the middle. Just giving a little gold highlight to the ends of the petals or whatever you want to call them. Right. I'm just letting it lightly brush the tissue. I'm not actually um, pushing down on the, the petals. I'm calling them petals. I don't know if they're petals, they're whatever. Just letting it brush. 
give a little sparkly highlight. And see that? Just a little something extra. Super fun. Okay, I think I might... Can I think of any more ideas? I don't know that I can. Um, I think I did pretty well. We've got six ideas. One was thinking on the fly and... I mean, might even be my favourite. I just think it's so cute. It's adorable. Um, have a play with a paper hat. We've still got this left over. So one hat goes a long way. Um, and I've got a bunch more of these hats. And it doesn't have to be Christmas, guys. If you're not doing Christmas or if you want to reinvent this. I mean, something like this. Any time of year. This could be on a nature journal. Just... Instead of that gold, um, you could do whatever, whatever colour. It's just popping up a little bit. I think I haven't quite glued it down sufficiently. So I'm just going to go and put a bit more glue in there and hold that down for a second. Any of these ideas, I think, would work at any other time of year. So grab out, you know, your, your purple hat or your orange hat or whatever. This one, probably more specific for Christmas, but you could do a different colour. And it could be a gnome if you're doing a gnome theme journal. It could be a gnome hat or an elf hat if you're doing a just a generic elf any time of year elf journal. Um, it could be an elf hat. So use your imagination. They can be transported to any time of year. Uh, by the way, if you don't like this, the staples on the back here, you can cover that with washi tape or something else like that. So there we go, guys. We have six ideas for tag toppers using Christmas hats. And my tags are getting a little bit curly because of the glue stick of when I backed them earlier. Uh, have some fun. Grab out your paper hats or your tissue, whatever you've got to hand, and have a wee play. Can you come up with even more ideas? I'd be keen to know them if you do. Thanks for joining me. Take care, my friends, and I'll be back tomorrow with Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I'll see you then. Bye for now.